declinism about Britain is just wrong. It's always been wrong in the past, and it's wrong today. Some of the gloom is based on statistics that don't reflect the whole picture. Like every G7 country, our growth was slower in the years after the financial crisis than before it. But since 2010, the UK has grown faster than France, Japan, and Italy, not at the bottom, but right in the middle of the pack. Since the Brexit referendum, we've grown at about the same rate as Germany. Yes, we've not returned to pre-pandemic employment or output levels, but an economy that contracted 20% in a pandemic still has nearly the lowest unemployment for half a century. And whilst our public sector continues to recover more slowly than we would like from the pandemic, strengthening the case for reform, our private sector has grown 7.5% in the last year. Yes, inflation has risen, but it's still lower than in 14 EU countries, with interest rates rising more slowly than in the US or Canada. And yes, we have to improve our productivity, but output per hour worked is now higher than pre-pandemic. And last week, a survey of business leaders by PwC said the UK was the third most attractive country for CEOs expanding their businesses. Economists and journalists know you can spend a long time arguing the toss on statistics. But the strongest grounds for optimism comes not from debating this or that way of analysing data, but from what we've been hearing about this morning, our long-term prospects. Because when it comes to the innovation industries that will shape and define this century, the UK is powerfully positioned to play a leading role. 